This is how WooCommerce by default displays stock quantities. In this video, I'm going to give you a simple solution how to, instead of this, display it as a progress bar, like this one here. You don't need a fancy plugin for it, just add a simple piece of code and you're done. So, if you're interested, then let's jump in and let's set it up. Now, a couple of things. The code snippet I'm going to use in this video, I'm going to put the link to it in the video description so you can use it in a similar way. And other things, in order to make it work, there are two solutions for you. First, the code I'm going to give you, you can add it to the appearance, team file editor, open up functions PHP file, and add the code here. If you choose this method, then be sure to use a child theme. I don't like this method because if I switch teams and use any other team, then I'm going to lose all the modifications. Therefore, I'm going to use the second option. That is, I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets. This one here, install and activate it. And now you'll see the snippet menu on the left. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video. That is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2 and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Next, let's talk about the security and Kinsta got you covered with auto backups. They have 24 seven site monitoring and they also integrate with Cloudflare for top notch protection against attacks like DDoS. Plus they have a global CDN to keep things running smoothly. Here's another fun fact about Kinsta. That is Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites. And those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, sure, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. Click on Add New, give it the title, for example, Stock Progress Bar. And now paste this snippet here. Choose Only Run On-Site Frontend, Save Changes and Activate. And now let's go to the products, all products. Let's open up a product. Take a look at the inventory now and activate stock management. That is track stock quantity for this product. Let's add a random number here, for example, 12. Let's update it, view the product, and you'll see there is a stock bar. If you need to customize the styling of this stock bar, then go to the appearance, customize, open up additional CSS and paste this piece of CSS code here. Now, what you can change here, it's a background color. For example, if you need to be black, use this color. If you need any other color, just add it here. If you need to change the background for the progress bar, then you can do it here and easy peasy. Pay attention that there are other options also for separate browsers. So change those here accordingly. And yeah, there's nothing else to it. Let's publish it, close it down. And there you go. Here are your stock progress bar for your WooCommerce products. There is one more thing you can customize and let's go back to the snippet. Take a look at the line number 29 here. That is define a maximum stock limit for the progress bar. Currently it's set for 100, but if I change it to 10 and save it, refresh it, you'll see now the progress bar is full because the full amount is 10. If I set it to 1000, for example, and save it, now if I refresh it, then you'll see only a slight bar here. So I'm going to keep it to 100. If the stock quantity is more than 100, then it displays the bar as a full. So another nice option for you. This here is only one of the hacks I have made a video about. Recently, I also made another video about how to create a sale price timer. That is, if the product has a sale price with an ending date from today until 9th of November, then this nice timer has been displayed on the single product page. If you're interested how to add this kind of solution with a simple code snippet, then take a look at the video that is on the screen right now. In the meantime, take care.